Hey what's going on YouTube Paradox here and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video and as you guys have requested EX Luffy 6 star gameplay let's go Alright so as usual I'm gonna be talking about his trait well I don't wanna go too much in depth because it is like too much yeah and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna highlight like a few things that I think is important number one this guy as you guys know can change his form into snake man and bounce man yeah and in doing so each of the form have a different skill too and their skill too each of them have about 14 steps attack to it yeah and uh, as you can see here the special thing about bounce man is that being an attacker his skill too has got ignoring defense trait uh, or capability in which it is really useful to go against dragon kaido and other than that uh, if i can just go through his trait this guy have massive attack buff up to 75 percent whenever you attack an opponent so it increases by three percent per hit yeah so it's really easy to get this honestly and then uh, he even have damage reduction as you can see here from trait 2 when your strength is more than 70 percent reduce damage received by 30 percent and reduce damage received from attackers by 20 percent in other words going against roger going against young dofi uh, you have from from his existing trait 50 percent damage reduction even though i'd say going against young dofi it's a bit tough for luffy yeah because he's really squishy and when dofi hide behind his spider web wall it's like really annoying like you, you can't get to him other than that he is built to uh, of course uh, annihilate kainu yeah so he says here when receiving percentage damage including from status effects recover hp by six percent so going against a kainu is not a problem anymore uh he can also withstand hit from uh, red luffy and also uh, red kit and other than that i think yep he's got like you know plenty of skill cooldowns hp recovery so in a uh, bounce man form if you want hp recovery you need to kill opponent if in, in snake man form if you want hp recovery you have to capture more flight because snake man is a runner class character yeah in snake man form he is a runner class type so i think that is enough and for this gameplay for today's gameplay uh i'm using boa trio set because it's got decent damage increase and also damage reduction so if you can see from the text here kuja pirates it says that when your allies are not near the treasure area where you are at reduce damage received by 10% in other words if you are fighting alone and you are fighting against Roger or attackers right Akainu, Young Dofi you'll have in total 60% so 50% from his own trait plus 10% from the medal um, and he's got damage increase trait as well well not that Luffy needs it because he already have massive damage increase but it helps it, it kind of helps yeah I'm not gonna lie and also the support that I'm using is let me just show you and the support that I'm using is um, attacker straw hat pirates Zoan and Newell so obviously attacker for more attack straw hat pirates it's for me to reduce critical damage received by 30 percent and zoan is when i'm fighting against roger yeah because roger is i mean uh he definitely is able to kill luffy so when i'm fighting against roger i will get extra 15 percent damage reduction i mean not just roger though all green elements here yeah? Uh, but why I mentioned Roger is because Roger, uh, yeah, like Luffy is quite squishy and he can kill you easy if you're not careful. So in total, going against Roger alone, yeah, is 50% from trade. And if you are alone, plus 10% from metal set and another 15% here from Zoan trade. So in total, 75% damage reduction when fighting against roger having all conditions satisfied so 163.2 percent let's get into the gameplay shall we all righty so first match is at along park we have scary opponents roger or dan akainu ex luffy 198k total party power and we are going against 208k so they are much much higher and they also have level 100 boost to yes luffy as as um as their ally okay so um i think personally obviously roger and Oden is a much scarier opponent compared to akainu like you know akainu is easy for luffy the problem is roger and, and even Oden because Oden hits hard bro 
So, okay, I don't hold my skill too because my aim is to try and get the flag as quickly as possible. Because plus, I don't want the other Roger to aim for me. Yeah, and uh, another reason is because I know that my Kaido ally will help me uh, in defending the flag. So I need to secure as much flag as possible for him. So if you have Kaido as your ally, make sure to try and get as much flag as possible because later that guy can defend them easy all right so as you can see earlier i uh, killed the roger so yeah i avoid his uh, skill too and kill him so i think he respawned as Odin. he's being a bit salty he's aiming for me but he don't know my skill one can reach him from here boom <laughs> GG's That I mean Luffy's skill one Is insane bro Like in his normal form When he's changing to uh, Snake man right The range is crazy Like now Once you get used to it right You can actually Sneakly attack your opponent Without even realising So here I do the same thing I don't hold my Skill to So you see The reason is because right If you know your opponent Have dodge right And you use your skill to There is a bit of a Of an animation time That allows your opponent To dodge However, if you release, if you press and release the skill quickly, it will move on to the um, to the last step, to the 14th step of that skill, and the delay when the attack is done, right, allows the, the opponent to dodge first. Yeah, but they don't get the perfect dodge. Yeah, so the, uh, the opponent will dodge first, but the last step will still hit the opponent. So yeah, because uh, because when you use your when you press and you release the skill too, right, there is a delay, and that delay helps you. Uh, 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 helps you by not allowing the opponent to get perfect dodge because if you continue pressing and let the multi hit skill to uh, hit the opponent right your opponent can dodge that yeah so that is one of the tricks with luffy okay so i overestimate luffy's uh, range here but the opponent kind of perfect dodge it as well so roger have team boost i'm in trouble boom thank god Nami uh, shocked that Roger and because of that I am saved and I'm able to kill that Roger So change back into my snake man form. I saw Akainu escaping Bam hit him from far and I saw Oden try to sneakily attack him However, this Oden is good. He knows how to utilize his skill one So my job is to try and defend uh, The flag yeah, because we only have like five seconds left. So I tried to back off waiting for my skill 1 to recover but I was killed by this Roger. Nonetheless, we still won the match. So 4 flags captured like I said because I trust my uh, Dragon Kaido ally. So good job bro. Um, I'm not the MVP but I have the most kills. 7 kills and 2 flags captured. So not too shabby. Okay, moving on. Land of Wano. Again, scary opponents. And look at my team. None of you know my allies use EX. I'm the only one. So 198k total party power. We are going against 197k. So I mean very little total party power difference. But if you're looking at uh the opponent, they are using uh, a lot of EXs, yeah. And uh, I think their first lineup, everyone is level 100 boost too. Including the Yamato, yeah. So, uh, this ma this match should be heavily sided towards them. Okay, so if you time your skill one nicely, yeah, you you you'll be able to hit opponent once they capture the flag, as I uh, did earlier. And thank God this Oden finish off his skill two. Again, I use the same trick. Yeah, I uh, press and release skill two without holding it. And perfect dodge his skill one. So right now I know it's easy. Change back to my normal form and. Boom! Finish him off with my um, skill. So I kind of messed up here. I should have, you know, at least bait his dodge first. Uh, but knowing how he don't have uh, the, the counter, uh, sorry, I should have bait his yeah counter first. My bad, not dodge. Okay, so this Roger is a good uh, Roger user. So he knows that he won't be uh, tremored if I use my skill too. Uh, when he's using his skill too, yeah. So he uses his skill to absorb that damage and return it back to me. So obviously, since Luffy is too squishy, I cannot withstand. I cannot, um, yeah, like, um, stay alive after receiving such a huge damage. Um, even with my, uh, yeah, a lot of damage reduction trait. So big bump easy and tremor her and kill her easy. 
So 10k with normals, that is insane. I know, I know it's because of team boost. But still, this Luffy don't, don't even have any damage buff, yeah? Because I just respawned. And again, use the same trick, skill 2 with Roger. Yeah, because the, the, the first 13, the first 13 multi-hit skill, right? That one doesn't do much damage. Okay, so this Roger used dodge glitch. And he almost died, so I finished him off with my normals. Okay, alright, so no problem. Alright, again, I messed up here. I don't know why I used my skill too. Like, in my head, I want to change form. So, yeah, I, I mean, Luffy can be quite confusing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, okay, so, waited for her to finish off capturing. And time it well, hit her with my skill one. And I'm gonna steal this one real quick. So, I'm, I, I'm actually baiting for uh, her counter, yeah. So, I know that she dodges and... Well, again, you know, waiting for her to use her counter, but apparently she don't use it. I'm not sure if, if she's out of it, but yeah, perhaps, perhaps. Okay, so sneaky attack this Marco. I mean, obviously, Marco have no chance against Luffy, right? I mean, he can, though, because Luffy is quite squishy, but... Yep, element advantage, so Marco, easy kill. So, okay, I gotta be careful. Thank God this Roger already used his skill too. And another Roger just, you know, comes into that hit, waiting... <laughs> Not waiting, but it, it's like he's offering himself to me, so GG's. 10.7k score, guys. And my team, we don't have any EXs. We are able to win the match with all 5 flats captured. My team is so good. Crazy good. So GG's. Against a bunch of EXs, guys. Wow. Just wow. Okay, so moving on. Third match. This one is at um, Water 7. So 192k, yeah. Uh, total party power. We are going against um, 193k, so yep, 1k total party power more. And also, both of the Kaido are level 100 boost too. So, let's go. Those who say that, you know, hey, you don't... Like, you know, when I do my attack and HP build gameplay, right? People were saying, dude, you just need to avoid that skill. Dude, you just, you know, you just have to... Um, uh, uh, like like it's a one-time skill so you don't have to care about it i'll show you how dangerous ex luffy is in front of dragon kaido so yeah i mean of obviously the key is for you to know how to bait uh, dragon kaido's dodge and also try and uh, you know um, um, provoke them so that they come out of the treasure area so as you can see here Boom, with my third hit, I think I'm able to finish his first life, I guess, over there, yeah? So he uh, panicked and he used his uh, skill too, no problem. So, boom, sneak attack and kill him with my snake man form. Alright, so one dragon down, one more to go. So, Akainu, I know he don't have health, uh, much health left, so I know he's going to dodge. So, yep, easily kill him. And right now, since Kaido is not in his treasure, he can be stunned. And look at his health. He doesn't have much left anyway, bro. And that skill of mine is not even um, uh, defense ignoring skill. So thank God luck is on my side. I have meet, you know, offered just right besides me. So right now I am trying to defend the flag. But since I don't have much health left, so I'm trying to be careful. So yeah, I think the number 7 player respawned back as Dragon Kaido. Alright, so let's go. It's a sneak attack, bam! Woo -hoo -hoo. Easy kill, bro. Easy kill. And the team, sorry, the opposing team even have team boost, guys. So, yep, crazy. Okay, so um, we have um, EX Luffy as opponent here. Alright, change back to my normal form because I, I can utilize my invincibility skill. However, he does the same. Perfect dodge that hit and spam my skill to. I'm able to get Yamato inside my um, skill uh, area as well, yeah, attack area. And I'm baiting for her counter. Perfect dodge it. And change back my form to normal form. So, because, yeah, I mean, I'm not afraid with Yamato. She perfect dodged that one, really good. So nice. Good job, good job. Uh, and I'm able to kill her. Well, like I said, because I have the advantage. Like with EX Luffy, right? The skill cooldowns are really quick and if you know how to utilize him in between the forms right yeah you, you actually get pretty much like uh the skill back uh most of the time so perfect dodge that skill one 
without hesitation use my skill too because I know he's gonna use his skill too and I should be able to remove the auto dodge as well in the meantime because 13 steps yeah so whenever he is in his uh, snake man and bounce form sorry bounce man form skill 2 has got 14 steps attack in total so 13 the multi hit and the last one so yeah it's crazy it's, it's really good so 6 kills uh, 7 kills score not too shabby so for me right with luffy because he's squishy you kind of have to like play safe with him yeah like if it's 2v1 chances are not easy for luffy to stay alive especially if you're fighting like uh yeah like young dofi or roger at the same time or even uh roger and Oden at the same time like yeah because because roger can't be stunned right so yeah that, that is what makes it hard and young dofi with his shield Man, it's really annoying to kill Young Dofi. Like, Young Dofi, if you have to fight Young Dofi, you really have to play extra safe. So, yeah, he's squishy. Like, you either do really good with him, or you either, like, or, or yeah, or you do, like, really bad. Like, for me, when I use Luffy, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be shy to admit there's a plenty of time where I, uh, you know, get low score and even at the uh, uh, bottom, uh, uh, position guy yeah uh, when I uh, sometimes play really bad so yeah because he's really squishy and that's why um, but once he gets his attack buff and you know how to utilize his uh, invincibility skill yeah when he is in his normal form man you're really good so like this one I know really is about to use his skill so I use my skill too at the same time like I said because of the invincibility I don't receive any damage and I'm able to tremor that uh, really and kill him however I was unlucky here I'm, I'm, I'm too stupid I should have waited for Roger to use um, his uh, skill too first and I'm dead yeah like Roger hits hard so you really have to be careful against Roger like this guy for me, he's not a direct counter to Roger. Akainu is a direct counter to Roger, but he's a direct counter to Akainu. So in a way, I think for me, third anniversary, right? I think Bandai designed both EX Luffy and Kaido to not be too broken, yeah, in some situation, but they are broken in some situation. Like, yeah, in other words, it's it's quite balanced, you know. Like, they already have some counters to them. I think Luffy, like, Roger is definitely a counter to him. If you know how to play Roger well, you can easily kill Luffy. Because Luffy is squishy. But, as you can see here, Luffy actually can counter Kaido quite good. Yeah? Like, um, if, let's say, Kaido isn't able to charge his flag in time, you can actually stun him. You can actually deal damage to him. And you can even tremor him with your skill to him if you are in your normal form so yeah i mean ex luffy hits kaido hard okay so i'm able to luckily get that perfect dodge and boom tremor this roger and use my skill to again for the multi hit to stop both roger and really from uh that that really is trying to capture the flag so yeah uh we are lucky enough again to get all five flags of course thanks to my awesome teammates and three two one that's it we won the match five nil so 7.7k score ggs 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 i'm the mvp so yep yep i mean my aim when i use ex luffy is to always go and get dragon kaido like <laughs> because uh yeah that is what luffy is made for and for me kaido right if you don't handle him um early He's gonna be a real trouble for you later. Yeah, especially especially because you don't know when skill two will come. So yeah, and and yeah, earlier in Barati stage, all the more reason to kill Kaido soon. Because once Kaido is able to gain his defense buff and he uh you know hangs around at the, the upper deck, man, it's annoying. Okay, so moving on, water seven stage. So I think these gameplay right the last two gameplay are the gameplays that uh you know uh, like it, it's my uh first few time using ex luffy so i'm not really too used to him i don't really know how to switch around in between his skills you know like i'm not adapted to it yet so yeah, expect some bad uh, not bad but not amazing gameplay here okay so 
I perfect dodge that Shang's uh, skill. I know why he used his counter a bit too early. So going against um, Shang's, the problem is that with Snake Man, you cannot stun him. So I'm lucky. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to kill him. But yeah, going against Red Kid is is uh, annoying. Like his uh, skill too doesn't hurt you much, yeah, because you 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 are able to heal from it. But yeah, his skill one hits hard because Luffy is squishy, and this uh, kid player right is a really good player i'm not gonna lie he doesn't even dodge bro so yeah it's really hard for me to read him at first but now that i've got his pattern uh i kill him easy so i don't have my skill one if i have my skill one i will change back to snake man form and capture the flag because uh in snake man form whenever you capture flag you will get hp recovery so okay i'm waiting and boom use my skill too yeah so easy i'm able to tremor uh the yamato and kill her so i think it's the same red kid player earlier let me check yep yep it's the same red kid player earlier so he respawned as yamato yeah i killed him uh again and also he respawned uh, again now as um kid and again like i said since i know that uh he don't easily use his dodge so I just use my skill, trammel him and kill him easy Because he's not even in his treasure area, right? So okay, so this Shanks player And alright, so I saw that counter I know he's gonna do it And kill him easy because by now I have quite... Uh, uh, I think I have maximized my defense buff Sorry, my attack buff, my bad Okay, so perfect dodge that uh, counter And again, kill her easy with my skill Alright, so 30 seconds left, man. I'm trying to defend, but sadly, well, I don't have much health left and uh, easily killed by the Oden. So I have to respawn back as really because if not, there is no way I have enough time to, well, I know, save the team, yeah, if needed. And uh, 10 seconds, okay, so far so good. However, the team is able to remove everybody, yeah, my allies from my treasure area. And thank God I reached there in time. I mean, if I respawn back as Luffy, well, we are going to yeah lost the match for sure. So GGs, I'm the MVP. GGs, GGs. Um, okay, what's the score again? A six point one k. So not too much, not too high, but I got six kill though. So not bad. Okay, so final gameplay we have two Kaido as opponent. Yeah, or then we have a Samakainu as well, 192k total party power And we are going against 192k as well So yeah, quite fairly matched um, And also level 100 boost to Kaido So let's go um, As usual, in Water 7 being an attacker I always, always, always go to their second flag Yeah, I mean, I prefer, like with Luffy I prefer to have a 1v1 fight instead of, you know 2v1 or 2v2 yeah so it's really annoying and try to perfect dodge that one i failed but i got in first with my invincibility skill so i think if you are fighting against uh, another yes luffy right the best is for you to be able to perfect dodge their first skill because uh, most of the time they will always try and utilize their invincibility skill yeah so yeah, you, you actually have the chance to like dodge that. So if you're able to dodge that, honestly, you have the higher ground to, to kill them. Okay, so we are, are, I mean, opponent are able to capture all five flags. I, I was, you know, panicked and thankfully the Rayleigh is here. So I let him capture the flag because I am in my bounce man form anyways. And I'm able to kill that Kaido easy. So change back, okay, but I don't realize that this really is behind me. So I saw his dodge, use my skill too, and I'm invincible, yeah, that's why I'm safe. And uh, I'm able to hit really as well, however, I was sneakily attacked by this uh, EX Luffy player. Even though uh, this that Luffy is still level 72, but they have team boost. And yeah, like I said, Luffy, my Luffy, even though... At level 100 boost 2 is still really, really, really squishy. Um, yeah, but uh, obviously, of course, I don't have much health left anyways earlier. And that's why I died. So, okay, I tried to stop this Rayleigh. So, bait his dodge. 
and bam okay spam use my skill one all right i'm able to kill that really nice and i saw somebody is trying to distract us yeah somebody's trying to it's uh only luffy and i thought i can stun him first however i'm caught by his skill first so yeah i don't know why but because i thought like yes luffy should have been able to um win uh, uh that particular ba battle like if both of them use skill two right i think yeah i think like yes luffy should have win it because ex luffy have uh invincibility right uh, sorry not invincibility but non stagger earlier but i don't know um okay so i messed up like big time here like uh like i said uh this is like one of my earlier matches and uh now that i've read him i know he don't dodge easy so boom use my skin one and after that well seeing how we don't have much time i just kill him with my skill too again i use the same trick i press hold it for a short while and then once i know he don't have that shield around him release it i know he's going to dodge and when he dodges he don't get that perfect dodge and he was hit by that final step of skill too so that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video um, i'll see you guys next time take care ciao